Hey everyone, it's Maddie and welcome back to my channel. Honestly, I don't think I filmed a sit down video in like four months. Okay, so my last proper sit down video is my back to school stationery haul and that was five months ago. By the way, I'm filming this on Saturday the 15th of February and I'm planning on uploading this video tomorrow. I told myself that I wasn't gonna upload this week, but here I am. I did have content for this week. I filmed some stuff at college, but I decided to go against posting that this week and I thought that maybe filming this would be a bit better. If you're new, hi, I'm Maddie, welcome to the channel. I'm 16 years old. I'm at college and I'm taking my A-levels. If you are planning on sticking around for this video, you might want to take a seat, grab a drink, grab a snack. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'll try to keep it under 10 minutes. Basically this week I just wanted to film me opening up about life, college, post-college, if I'm going to uni, what's actually going on in my life and all stuff like that. I thought it would be quite interesting. I asked you all on Instagram to ask me questions about my life. I literally kept this up for like 15 minutes and there was just a spam of questions. I did take a handful and I've got them all on my phone. So the first question that I got asked is what are you taking at college? At college I'm taking travel and tourism, media and photography. Travel and tourism is a BTEC and then photography and media are both A levels. Do you enjoy your subjects? Yes I do overall. Photography at the moment is my favourite. Media is a very close second. And travel I do enjoy. I'm just finding it a little bit boring at the moment. But once we start looking at European and long haul destinations I'm going to start enjoying it more. Are you going to uni? If so what will you study? I've started researching for uni. I feel like now is when I'm like, I gotta get my together. I think that I do want to go to uni. I think it'll be good for me. If I go to uni, I'm gonna do something to do with media communications. I was thinking about digital media production or film production, but I went against myself. Media communications is quite broad, so I'll do a bit of filmmaking, I'll do a bit of editing, I'll also do theory, but I think it will lead me to a variety of different options career-wise. But if I just do film production, I feel like I'm quite limited with the jobs that I can get. What's your best subject? So I get the best grades and marks in photography. It's definitely my best subject. And I feel like it's a subject that I try the hardest in. The whole environment for photography is just so chill and I just love being in there. Whether I have a lesson there or not, quite a lot of the time during freeze I will go and sit in photography and do work. I like the fact that it's not as loud as a common room but it's not as quiet as the library. So you've got like that little in between bit where you can still get on with work as well as having people around you because I just can't work in silence. What grades do you get in each of your subjects? So because travel and tourism is a BTEC it's done like distinction merit pass and at the moment I'm working at a distinction which is the equivalent to an A which I'm obviously over the moon with. I've still got quite a bit of travel work to do over half term. Hopefully I'll keep that grade up. Photography I'm also working at A's and media I'm working at a B but each time I'm just like two marks off getting an A which is so annoying. Thing is with me I'm not a very academic person whatsoever. In secondary school I could barely do most of my subjects I just didn't have an interest in learning about what I learned about so I went into college knowing that I wanted to take more practical and more creative subjects because that's just so me. The travel and tourism is 100% coursework we have to do essays every once in a while which is completely fine because I can do it at home I can use Google like it's not not exam room conditions or anything. Photography is also 100% coursework so we have sketchbooks that we have to fill out throughout the two years and with photography I just love it because your teacher is there to guide you as you go. Like if I've missed a bit of work or she thinks that I can do it better I'll just do it better. It's very very time consuming. I spend quite a lot of my time doing photography. All I've got to do in half term is shoot. All I need to do when I get back to college is pick my finals, edit them and put them into like a final series and that will be my transfer exams. When I say exam I mean that's what's going to get me in second Year. Media, I'm pretty sure it's 70% exam and 30% coursework. I do really enjoy media. I find it really, really interesting. I love learning about the whole industry. I love learning about how things are shot and made and produced and stuff like that. It's just really up my street. So media is the only exam that I have to revise for, which I'm so grateful for. And that's another thing with media. I really don't find it difficult at all. There's just a lot of information that I need to comprehend and revise. But obviously it's going to be like that. It's an A level. And my coursework, I'm pretty sure I have to produce and edit a music video and then do a magazine three page spread on it or something like that which I'm really looking forward to love editing it's really my jam. Are you enjoying college? Yeah, I am. Obviously, it has its ups and downs. I feel very grateful that I have the friends that I have. Sometimes it gets stressful, but again, it's bound to. Me and my friends are currently planning a little trip away that hopefully we're going to take in June, which will be really good. But yeah, I am enjoying college, mostly. Does your college do trips? Yeah, we get the opportunity to go on some incredible trips. The main trips that you do are in second year. But for photography in October, I went to Kew Gardens in London, which was incredible. And then also in October, we 
with travel, I went to Brighton, which was just, was a great day. No, I made that sound like it actually wasn't a good day. It was a good day. I had a really good day spending time with my friends. There's a vlog. I definitely posted a video on it. I'm pretty sure it's called What Really Happens on a School Trip or something like that. Are you going traveling this year? I feel so, so lucky that I get the opportunity to go on holiday, to go abroad. I just feel very grateful that I have the opportunity to do that. And I don't want people to think that I take it for granted because I really don't. But yes, I have got one main trip planned for this year and one that I should be booking on Wednesday and that's the one where I'm going away with my friends. But my one that I'm going on in summer, I haven't done anything like it before. I've been to the country, but I haven't been to the places within that country. It's going to be really interesting. I'm currently doing my research to try and book like hotels, attractions, tickets, all stuff like that. But I am very, very excited. What career path do you think that you'll end up going down? 100% the media industry. I can literally put anything on that right now. I don't know whether it will be a producer, a journalist. I don't know what, but I know that I will definitely go down that route. Do you have any siblings? Yeah, so I have two older sisters, one called Lauren, one called Sophie. Basically, my oldest sister, Lauren, is married to a guy called Kevin, and they have a child called Maisie and a dog called Thomas, and they live in South Carolina in America. And the middle sister is called Sophie, and she is currently traveling. She reckons she'll be back in about six weeks, which is very, very exciting. I'm really excited for her to come home because it just means that we can have more Disney movie watching sessions and we can just jam out to the greatest showman together. What grades do you hope that you'll get in your A-levels? In travel, I want to get a distinction. In photography, I want to get an A. And in media, I want to get a B. So basically everything that I'm doing now, if I could keep this up for the next year, sorted. What is UK college actually like? It's interesting. I don't think it's what I thought it was going to be. I love it. I have more frees than I do actual lessons. I have 12 lessons a week. It's just so chill. It's so lenient. It's so chill. I, I love it. If you prefer to have more freedom, definitely look at going to a college. If you prefer to have more of a routine, maybe look at a sixth form. Completely depends on the course that you want to take. But that's kind of the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to share. If you haven't seen my face before, it probably means you're not subscribed. So hi, I'm Maddie. Welcome to the channel. If you like what you see, definitely subscribe and turn my post notifications on so that you never miss an upload. I try to post every week. I'm doing my best. College is a lot. Next week, I should go back to posting my normal college videos but I just wanted to do something a little bit different this week. If you have any questions about anything make sure that you DM me on Instagram because that is where I'm most active and I'll definitely see it. And I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye for now!